of me, thou overflows. Child, a new addition of consciousness. Each child is born as a new addition of consciousness into the world. He brings with him fresh fragrance and beauty into the world. Each child is intuitive and capable of attaining to his Buddhahood. Leave him alone, uncorrupted of any influences. Free the child from priests, parents and politicians so that he can be a human being first, not confined into narrow boundaries of religion, caste, creed, and political affiliations. Therefore, the only way to rear a child is to leave him alone, free of parents, priests, and politicians. Each of this deter the child in exploring the inherent talent. Allow them to soar high in the sky like the birds, instead being the turkeys. It needs courage and immense love in a father, in a mother, to tell the child, you need to be free of us. Love your children, enjoy their freedom, let them commit mistakes, certainly help them to see where they have committed a mistake. Tell them to commit mistake is not wrong. Commit as many mistakes as possible because it is the only way you will be learning more and make each failure as a stepping stone to reach to the other side. But do not repeat the same mistake again and again because that makes you stupid. Seeing truth and its realization leads to transformation. Truth alone liberates. Just see the point why your parents have destroyed you. Their wishes were good, but they were not aware because the seed of awareness did not blossom in them. They wanted you to be happy. Certainly, they wished you all the happiness. That is why they wanted you to become rich and a respected man. This is why they curbed their desires and fashioned you in a certain way, gave you character, repressed many things and in place, and forced new things. They did whatever they could. Their wish was right. They wanted to be happy. They wanted you to be happy, although they were not aware of what they were doing. Certainly they themselves had never known what happiness really is. Their wish was good. Therefore, never be angry about them. Never be angry with your parents. They did whatever they could as for their understanding feel sorry for them, but never angry at them. They were helpless. They were caught in a certain trap. They did not know what happiness is, but they had some idea that a happy person is one who has more money. They worked for it their whole lives, and in the process they wasted their lives in earning money. Yet they remained with that stupid idea that money brings happiness. Their dreams were good, but so were their wishes. But they were unhappy and unaware people. Now you be aware, search for happiness within, find, find how to be happy. Meditate, pray, and love. Live passionately and intensely. If you have known happiness, you will not be cruel to anyone. No, you cannot be. If you had tasted something of life, you will never be destructive to anybody. How can you be destructive to your own children? 
if you have tasted life, you cannot be destructive to anyone at all. If you have known awareness, then that is enough. I can only give you my insights. The insight is your parents were unhappy, but you seek happiness within. Your parents were un unaware and you remain aware. And those are these are the two things, awareness and happiness. They are not separate from one another. Instead, they are two sides of the same coin. Start by being aware first and you will reach the other shore, happiness. A happy person is always non-violent. He will be really non-violent and always remember, children are not adult. Therefore, you cannot expect children from children Adult things, they are children, they have a totally different vision and a different perspective. You should not start forcing your ideas, your so-called adult attitudes onto them. Allow them to remain children because they will never be child again. Once childhood is missed, a major part of life is missed. Everybody feels nostalgia for the childhood. Everybody feels those days were the days of paradise. Never think of disturbing them let them grow out of their own childhood naturally and spontaneously. Just as when a chick grows inside the egg, the egg shell breaks open and the chick comes out. It is naturally quite difficult for you to accept the vision of a child. Remember once you too were a child and you have lost it yourself. A child is trying to climb a tree. What do you do? You immediately become afraid, thinking that he may fall. He may break his leg or something else may go wrong. And out of your fear, you rush to stop the child from climbing the tree. If you had known the joy of climbing a tree, you would have helped the child so that he could learn how to climb the tree. They would have taken, you would have taken him to a school where it is taught how to climb trees you would not have stopped him. Your fear is good. It shows love that the child may fall, but to stop the child from climbing the tree is to stop the child from growing and letting him live life out of fear throughout the life. And this cripples the child. This is crippling the hidden talent of the child. Such a child cannot venture anything new in life. Your fear has instilled in him so deep that he cannot venture anything new in life. And even if he somehow does this, he is bound to fail. There is something essential about tree climbing if a child has never been doing it, he will remain something poor. And also he will miss something of the richness of the whole life. You have deprived him of something beautiful and there is no other way to know about it except climbing the trees. Later on, it will become more and more difficult for him to climb the tree 
and it will look stupid or foolish or ridiculous as well. Let him climb the tree and if the child is afraid, help him. Go and teach him. If you do not know, let someone who knows teach him. You also climb with him. Help him learn so he does not fall. Remember, children are quick learners and very inquisitive. Satiate their inquisitiveness and once in a while, falling from the tree is not bad rather than being deprived forever. If you have known happiness and if you are aware, you will be able to feel for the child how he feels. A child is jumping, dancing, shouting and shirking while you are reading your newspapers. And of course, the stupid news, the same news with a different character and situations. The news always remains the same, only the characters and situations change, but you feel disturbed. There is nothing in your newspaper, but you feel disturbed. You stop the child. Do not shout at the child saying not to disturb daddy. It seems as if daddy is doing something great reading the newspapers. Newspaper is the lowest kind of yellow journalism. This is the way you stop that running energy and its flow. You stop that flow and the life force that is capable of blossoming into Buddhahood one day. This is being violent. And I am not saying the child will always be allowed not to allowed to disturb. Out of 100 times, 90 times, you are unnecessarily disturbed. And when you respect the child, and if once in a while you tell him not to disturb, the child will understand that. These are, these are all there to trigger your inner clatter, disturbance and disharmony. It is difficult to see this. You blame the other because it is easy. I recall at the shrine of Sufi Brij Mohanlal during the month of October, there used to be a spiritual gathering. People from different cities will come, children and their families come. So children are meeting the children. They have their own get together. There was a big tent where the meditation will take place. And the other side was the residential tent. So children will run and make noise and play their games, unaware of anything that is going on as meditation. So there were some people who were given the responsibility to stop the children from making noise. So once I was given the responsibility, I start making them more noise. So it was complained to my uncle that he is making more noise. I said, if the people who are meditating, they are aware of meditation, they will not be disturbed. These children who are playing their game and enjoying it, they are not disturbed that you are meditating. They are enjoying what they are doing. Are you? If you are enjoying your meditation, you will forget about all that is going on within. And he remained quiet. Since then, they used to do a hundred meter race running behind the children, going behind the tent, they are running all about. Like others, the child too is natural and has nothing to do with meditation. Learn meditativeness from him. He is lost into what he is doing, that he is unaware of his surroundings. This is the beginning of meditativeness. And if you do not disturb him, those 90 times the child will understand.